Hi, this is Dr. Smiley, otherwise known as Ken Roshan, or Ken Roshan, otherwise known as Dr. Smiley. And we have our wonderful partner co-host, Michelle Mraz, international author, speaker, and just fabulous person to inspire all to step into their power unapologetically. How about that, Michelle? Ooh, that's good. You have to pump up the energy a little bit, though. You're, you're really, really uh, very calm with your radio voice today. You know, um, it's this is the second show, and I worked on photos all night from our wonderful week and launches, and you are right. Even with five cups of coffee, and I'll give a shout-out to my to brother. Here. I'll give him a shout-out to my brother here. He's Dr. Doctor, I wish I he, he probably wish Jerry Edwards, who owns Chef's Expressions, and he is such a wonderful man, a humanitarian. He does all these wonderful things in Baltimore to help the homeless, to help with food drives, to help with nutrition, all kinds of lovely stuff. So love that guy. So this is my Shout tribute out. today. Shout out to him. Yes. <laughs> well, my when name we is Michelle Moross. You've got to say what we're here for. This is Amplifluence. If you want to know what we're talking about with Amplifluence, it's Amplifluence.com. You can go find that out because me, Ken, and oh, Todd. We created this Amplifluence because it amplifies your influence as a coach, speaker, and author. And it's, we basically said what the three pillars of monetization is. Well, speak, speak your message, uh, publish, publish your message. message, and convert your message. Yes. So if you want to learn more about what we do, and if you've watched my page or in Ken's page that for, for that matter, we've been hopping around the United States for several months now. And We've been having a lot of fun with Amplifluence. So that being said, keep in mind Amplifluence.com. If you want us to come to your city and sponsor us there, we can have all the other authors come out and mix and mingle with all the movers and shakers of your town. Uh, reach out. Let us know. There's a nice little button on our website. You can click and say, hey, I want in on this. Right that? And by the way, you did a great job. I think that was high energy. I think it was very polished. And I'm going to step into that next week. But I do want to do a show and tell. This is Vince Ely's Denver, and he, we even give, gave a shout out to Loveland, which is where he is specifically uh -huh. in Denver. So this is the book we're creating in the Denver community, and then the Colorado Springs we need to create as well, Michelle. Oh, we're working on that. We're building that. And then uh, I, I wanted to go over what we've done over the past couple of weeks. Before we do that, do you want to give shout outs to some birthdays since you're, you're, you just got your birthday book? I've got my birthday book, but I don't have any birthdays handy. How about you start? Okay. Well, um, I have four rather near and dear people. So I have Dr. Andrea. She's the one who is uh, the executive director of the Key Smiling Movement. Happy birthday, Dr. Andrea. We have Al Blackford. Al Blackford is a friend of mine I met at the crypto conference in Miami, and he's become a really good friend. He's traveling the United States and ex basically knocking out his bucket list. And then Joel Kahn, who is a innovative disruptor and just super cool speaker he's done a multitude of books all of his books are the type of book when you read them you become more aware of your power as well as your ability to uh, create abundance and i'll finish with mike corelli who is my my fraternity brother in sae sigma alpha epsilon so happy birthday all of you wow you make me feel like a slacker suddenly uh, I can't find my birthdays fast enough. Well, you can find them at, you know what? You can find them anytime in the show. We can also do more shout outs in our, in the, uh, the threads, in the comments. Okay. Cause I know Cosimo and Stephanie's baby had her birthday yesterday. Um, Cinco de Miles tomorrow. Happy birthday, Cinco. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, five. Cinco, is such, Cinco is such a good egg. I mean, a good tamale. Oh, oh I know someone very important. Who? Heather Harris's birthday is tomorrow. She's one of the queens from Hold My Crown. That is awesome. That's a good job because, see, I cover today, and you just help by really making sure we cover tomorrow. We're not going to. Yeah, well, and like Mother's that. Day is this weekend. So happy Mother's Day to everybody out there who is a mommy. I really like where you're going with this, by the way. By the way? Yeah, I really do. Um, I'm looking if there's any authors that we have in Dose of Hope that are having their birthdays this week. Um, yeah, so. Well, maybe we'll do that next time when we have more because we have a lot to cover. Because for we one do. thing, you went 
to the dun, 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 ultimate speaker competition in Las Vegas. Where you won in Orlando about a year ago. Yep, in July. Little, yeah, was it July? Okay. So um, you won, and you're an awesome person. And guess what? My mentor, Barry Shore, won this past week. And it was so cool because I told him about the Ultimate Spirit competition he attended. And it was quite an exciting race. Uh, Shivani Ray was the runner-up. And I have to say, she gave him a run for the money. She's a, a very young, dynamic. Yeah, there's there's old Barry. Yeah, good job. <laughs> and I found a bunch of uh, photos of us way back in the day. I was cleaning my computer and found some cool photos of us. I'm thinking about making a book for my birthday called Ken Connected. And it's just the people that have been a very important part of my life. So cool. that's our birthdays, and that's the USC. Um, big shout out to Christoph Wyman because... He has one coming up in Philadelphia. He has one coming up all over the place. But the point I wanted to say about Christoph is we met because of Christoph's vision of having a speaker competition. So I have a lot of gratitude for him. Yes, I agree. Next. Next. <laughs> so, we went to the uh, Power of We Symposium in Chicago. And what I love about that is I have done that event several times, recommended it to you, and you solidified sponsorship, and you got to be the wing woman, and we got to meet, I got to have you meet Jason Cisneros, who is a very dynamic speaker um, with a roar, and you got to see Dr. Walt Whitman with his choir do a really oh, phenomenal amazing. job of waking up the entire a uh, group of inner city kids. So you want to share the mission because you did rather well on that at the event. You want to share the mission of the power weird. Do you want me to do it? I'll do it. I'll you do, do it. You do it, do it? Because, yeah, you better do it. <laughs> so uh, Lauren Michaels Harris had a vision that because inner city kids don't necessarily have great mentorship and they don't have a lot of opportunities to make good decisions that he put all these amazing speakers who came from, for the most part, um, a, a life very similar with challenges. Uh, to include abuse, to include uh, poverty, and just all kinds of other challenges. Um, I remember Jason Cisneros, for instance, uh, saying that his dad went to prison for attempted murder on himself and his wife, and that was something I learned for the first time. And when you hear these stories about these dynamic speakers and the fact that they went through all this, it, you have that much more respect and inspiration for uh, following them and uh, cheering them on. But he's such a, a good soul. Uh, I'm just so impressed with what he's created in his life and also how he treats his friends and how he treated you. So that was a wonderful uh, person to have you meet. I was excited that you guys got to spend time. Well, it was, I spent a lot of time with them and we went singing and everything, but also don't forget Prince. I met Prince. I have, I'm not forgetting Prince. I'm only okay. going through the first two. So yeah, Prince Michael's Prince Michael. And he is meeting me in a couple of days and he said that he's going to help Amplifluence dash the Keep Smiling movement potentially have some embraced arms with Southwest. So we'll put it in the universe. We're putting in the universe that he is going to connect the dots of Southwest's heart connecting to the heart of Amplifluence and the Keep Smiling movement. How okay. about that? Then who's our next one? I would like to say the amazing fingers of the pianist, the Donovan. The Donovan is extraordinary. And I love the picture that I got of you and Prince and the Donovan at the at the piano. Wasn't that cool? Oh, it was a beautiful picture. I wish I could share it, but my screen won't let me share anything right now. Well, why don't we why don't we just commit at the end of the show that I will by the end of the day add photos so people not only hear the show. Oh, there you go. Look at you. You really are doing it. That's it's really thing. it's really blurry, but yeah, it's a great one. Yeah, and, and and it's good that it's blurry because that makes people want to go back and see the clear shot. Well, we're going to put the real pictures on the Amplifluence page. So if you're interested <laughs> in seeing the pictures from all the events we've been we're about to talk about, they will be on the Amplifluence page. Um, just look as up well as the, as well as the past events. Our past yeah. events are up there already. Yeah, all they're up, they're up there already. But it'll be it's uh, the pages. It's a group called Amplifluence Dash One Hundred Author because I'm changing the name from 100 author to Amplifluence, so you can find it. Now, the next thing we went through, because we did go to the Power of We, we met uh, the Be the Best Version You group, uh, the Ohana tribe. Uh, we met so many amazing people in Chicago. There's too many to list, but 
what a great event to connect some amazing people. And then we immediately flew back and went to the first Colorado book launch in Colorado Springs. And then the next day went to the Denver one for the Denver book launch. Now, do you want to talk a little bit about it? Because that was a whirlwind to me. Well, since it's your hometown, and I think you had a little bit more to know and do with regard to me flying in and having that experience really light up, would you be kind enough to share the Colorado Springs, how that, how you found the place, who, who helped really build that event? I know, I know Robert Peterson, Noel Peterson helped with both events as far as making the flyers, helping get the social media, helping get the professionalism. And Emmy found Coati. Emmy found Coati. We had a beautiful space. If you have not seen Coati in downtown Colorado Springs, go there. It's a great space with uh, hundreds. It felt like hundreds of different food options and really good food options. But we had the whole upstairs for our events that they do uh, share that space for events. We had that for our book launch. We had all our authors out there uh, showcasing their books. Each of them got to speak a little bit about their book. And I'm going to plug this in real quick. Mary Kay, you see that picture of the Linus? Mary Kay, she uh, read my book. Where's my book? My, my, I have uh, my I anthology have book. There it is. She read the anthology book and she was inspired by the stories in the book to paint the lioness that you see behind me. And this lioness is actually going to be the cover of my dissertation book. So very, very big shout out for the beautiful artist, Mary Kay. She also did a lion, but I don't have him framed yet. So he's not back there. Well, I want to comment on that food again. You know, I was blown away by how good the food was. I got the cauliflower fried wings and your your lovely partner, Brian Swanson, could not keep his eyes off them because they looked like they were chicken wings. And when I asked the gentleman at the, at the restaurant what I should order, he says, everything's good. And I said, I said, okay, but is there something you would recommend more than another? And he goes, everything's good. So... <laughs> But it's good. And it was. Now, yeah. the other thing about the book launch in Kawadi, one, the food was great. The people were amazing. We had a great turnout. And then the next day, because that was Emmy who got that space. And then the next day we went up to Brewability and Pizzability in Inglewood. And again, Robert and Noel. Uh, Which is in Denver area. Yeah, Inglewood Den is in the Denver area. Uh, Avital is the one who helped with that one. And then we had uh, a oh, and she brought all brand. Brand. She brought yeah, some yeah, we had a comedian, we had dancers. I mean, it, it was really cool. And if you haven't been to Brewability and Pizzability, the reason why it's called Ability, Pizzability, Ability, I'm like, why is, why is the name so long? It's because they, um, the workers there are all, what's the political correct name? They're all challenged. Handy, all handy capable is what they are because they they ran everything. Matter of fact, the bartender was blind. And he had a seeing eye dog on the side. So go out there, check them out and support them because it's it's pretty amazing. I did not like that dog, though. That dog would bark when the beer got so high. It would bark and it would stop. And I <laughs> wanted an extra little bit. You know how they so I, I was not happy about the dog. I was thinking about taking my glasses and putting it on the dog just so that I could get a little more beer. You're funny. Karen says hi. Karen says hi. Well, ho well hello, Karen. How are you, Karen? Yes. <laughs> Thanks and, for joining us. That's great. And Aiden, Aiden, of course, had uh, his debut, at least with Amplifluence, and his his book uh, his book pack uh, movement. So we're excited about having his story in in Dose of Hope too. It's Aiden's backpack. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to learn those words. Backpack. Back. Back, 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 back. Yes. And then next, after the Denver book launch, uh, the Inglewood one, uh, Ken and I screamed out of there, went out to dinner. No, screamed out of there and went to where my son works. Meow Wolf. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And, and I am so excited to share a bonus. You don't know about this bonus I'm going to share. Lots of socks. You buy them one at a time because they figure you're going to lose the second one anyway. So you buy one, two, three, and you get the fourth free. 
I, so we had a great you, time in the Wolf and Ken had a wonderful Michelle, time. I have to say something. I've never said this or thought this before, but I wish I had four feet because I really want to wear all four of them at the same time. <laughs> we had a fun time in the Wolf. Uh, hey, you know, we forgot to do something. Yes, Aiden's Backpack Club. Well, we didn't forget that as much as you think. We forgot the shout out to the different authors that we seem to have some of the books with us. Oh, so, oh, oh, yeah. Let's go back to the book well, here. Let's let's give let's give some love to Gina because she was at both of the events. There's Gina's book. Yes, Gina, you are a super mom. And then, and then, and then you have Roberts, right? Or do you not have Roberts? Uh, I Robert don't have Peter. Roberts handy. Okay, I, I have Roberts handy. So there's Roberts. Robert Peterson. Yeah, and you have to hold it. And he has a new book opportunity anyone who's an entrepreneur that has an inspiring story of how they create abundance and solve problems if they'd like to do a chicken soup type of story in his compilation book that is going to be a book that you've inspired michelle i don't know if you know this but hold my crown has inspired genesis gomez to have a conversation with me robert uh peterson and michael Schoenig. three yes, people and i just talked to uh, brian swanson about the same thing really awesome yeah. And then we have Rocio Perez, our first bilingual author. It is in Spanish and English, and she is offering to make every single book available in Spanish if the author so desires. And they're seeing this book, but I don't know if you mentioned, it is hardbound. It is a hardback book. It is so cool. It is and I've gotten so many compliments on it. And by the way, Christoph loved Christoph Wyman from USC loved this so much. He held it up and said to everyone, we're going to make a book as good as this, as good as this. So, so I just want to say your book is not only a phenomenal read and doing phenomenally in sales, but it really is a very professional looking book. So congratulations. Thank you. Not professional looking. It is very professional. Yes, it is. And did I do Avatars yet? There's Avatar. No. Oh, I, I got to, uh, my son didn't get to, to hold, go. Over. You have to hold up Avatar. It was too shiny. Couldn't see it. Okay. There you go. Avatar Miller. Keep smiling. Yes. Okay. And then my son's book was released that day in uh, in Colorado Springs and Denver. This is. Hold it closer. Can't read it. Kenny's okay. favorite places in America. And that's very timely for July 4th too. Yes. He will be at the July 4th um, launch. <clears throat> so that's well, pretty cool. Well, the rest of the authors, I didn't get books from all of them, and we'll, well make that I a have, new. I have J. Charles, <laughs> book, my awesome. own enemy. What I still think is cool is that's him in that picture. I think yes. That's so cool. And then we have the Dream Life Planner: Move from Tired and Overwhelmed to Free and Empowered by Noel Peterson. Uh, there it is. Uh, I can't get it all there. No, you do good. What I'm doing is I'm holding it low, see the title, and moving it up like a movie. And then, of course, the new Keep Smiling Dose of Hopey book number four came out. Can you get that? I see it. And I'll tell you what, we got uh, Genesis Gomez is one of the new authors in there. Avital is in there. I think Vince Ely is not in that particular one. He'll be in the next one. But we have Robert a lot of the authors in there. Uh, Sally Wurr, I'm in it. Uh, uh, Robert Robert Noel. Robert Noel yeah. are in there. Uh, Michael Shoning. Yes. He he got his chapter in and it made the press just as it was rolling. Just as the press was rolling, his chapters snuck in. And his event's coming up. We didn't mention that, but that's that's in Save the Dates. So we'll do the Save the Dates. You want to do some Save the Dates? No, you talk because now I have to type it in. Okay. So we have Save the Date for May 15th. No, no, no. No, no, not yet. Talk oh, not about yet. The Youth for Christ. Oh, well, that, we can do that one. Youth for Christ. That, that is a great idea. So when I got back Monday at 11 a.m., I got to spend some lovely time with my son. We went bowling. And then after that, I went to Martin's Crosswinds in Baltimore for the Youth for Christ event where Tim, Tim Tebow was the featured keynote speaker. And they had some African, Uganda African choir sing and there's pictures on my page so we'll put those pictures on the amplifluence page as well but wow tim tebow's uh his his message is so amazing it's it's about <clears throat> what we hear 
someone going through their pain, uh, their struggles, and that we are experiencing the feeling. But what do we do with that feeling? Do we just say we experience the feeling or we do it? Do we step into what we can do to help alleviate that person's struggle? So they were, uh, I did not find out how much they raised, but they were attempting to raise $150,000 that night. And the five or six children that did speak on stage about Youth for Christ, it was very moving what Youth for Christ has done for their life. And they are now stepping into leadership and they're helping other kids that are going through lots of struggles. And the struggles include um, sexual abuse, uh, uh, physical abuse, as well as um, just all kinds of challenges with poverty, homelessness, et cetera. So uh, I was very excited to end my week with that beautiful message and so many people stepping into being a mentor and being a volunteer and being a, a sponsor of these kids. Beautiful. Yeah, you put up uh, some really good pictures of Tim Tebow, who was doing the keynote. And then um, I know I saw a couple of videos of the kids singing, too. So that was really neat. Thanks for sharing that. And then next, the next one I'd like to put on is the save the date for July 3 through 5. If you'd like to get to the Independence Day book launch, it is in the DMV area, which is the what's DMV stand for? D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. And can you tell us more about it? Of course. So all the people in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area are getting a little jealous that we're doing these save the dates for Dallas and for Las Vegas and for Colorado Springs and Denver and Orlando and Tampa. So my backyard is giving me some, you know, what's when do we get our time? When do we get our highlight? And I thought, what better day than Independence Day to celebrate at the Capitol authors that are creating legacy? So we are hoping to have 100 authors there. Um, it is three events, three days. The first day is going to possibly be a mixer. So all the authors get to meet each other. And then the next day is photo shoot with, uh, your book and just your friends that you bring, you make and bring, uh, with you in DC. So they're going to have lots of social proof that they're at the Capitol celebrating independence day and their legacy piece. And then the final day is, um, God willing at borders and will be another mixer, uh, social at the end. So we're looking at three or four events over those, that period of time. Okay. So if you're in the, oh, DC big area, shout, big, wait, big shout out to Tony Barnett. He is the one who's helping coordinate all these lovely activities and experiences. Yes. He's awesome. So if you're in the DC area or if you can get there, like the rest of us are going to be flying there, be there for July three through five. And we're going to be there to see the amazing fireworks in DC. So Kind of and, and by the way, um, I have I have learned, I guess, the good way that if I want to fly out to Colorado Springs or I want to fly out to California or Dallas or any of those other places, I just take a plane. I take Southwest. So y'all can come on this way with Southwest if you want. Or you can oh. use your own. You can use a different airline. <laughs> Next. Save Next. the day. Oh, I forgot to put the date in. What's the, the children's author launch in Leesburg, Virginia? That is, that is in two weeks or less than two weeks. May 15th from okay. three to five. May 15th. Three to five. And we will put a link with uh, the Eventbrite so people can sign up. We're looking for lots of children's authors. So if you know a children's author and you want to give them a nudge, this is a great opportunity for you to meet other children's authors, get tons and tons of exposure. And Kenny, of course, will be at that event to show off his new book. Sweet. And then May 19th. May 19th, the Unconditional Summit. I think it's a summit. Uh, Michael Schoening is uh, heading it's a that. Conference. It's a conference? Okay. I don't think it's a summit. I think it's a, con a conference. But What's you know what? Summit if, if they go, yeah, we, he may change the name. If we bring him more people to, the, to his event from the show, he may change it from conference to summit. So Michael Schoenig is uh, launching his very first conference, Parentheses Summit. And uh, we're excited about that because the message unconditional is in tune with what Keith Smiling is about. It's in tune with what our leader uh, magnet is for Amplifluence. We want to attract authors and speakers and leaders that actually do work in an unconditional aspect, that they're not transactional because that experience is so much more rewarding and it creates relationship. But most importantly, it creates fun because I, you know, I, I was never using this word 
for Perfect Publishing until you came aboard and you brought all these amazing people into the family. It feels like a family there. Uh, it is, I think the success you've had with your book is you carefully chose the women that were leaders that deserve to have a launch from your book into their own book. Um, I have never seen such a tight knit group that's formed from a compilation book. I mean, not even close. Most compilation books that I've experienced have been in a transactional experience where the author doesn't even know when the book is coming out. And this isn't to say that there are bad intentions from other publishers or bad intentions from the organizer of the compilation book, but what you've created is got so much value because each person that I've talked to from your, from your uh, compilation book, I see a leader, I see someone powerful, I see someone that really can take the stage themselves. And so you brought super high quality people in and you either saw this in them and they are becoming it or they already were that and you have attracted that type of strength. So it's, 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 it's a little, thank you. It's a little of both with, uh, withhold my crown. It, it was an interview process and I told all of them, you know, I love your story. I, I love what you bring. I love your energy. But in order to be in this book, you have to do three more things. And they said, what? I said, you need to commit. Two, you need to be willing to speak about this on stage and share this story. And then three, I want you to be able to train what you're talking about. And if you if they said no, they can't do that, then they were out. If they were, if they were still in the mess and they couldn't actually help anyone out of their mess, then they couldn't be in. They have to be through it in order to be in it. And that's really what uh, hold my crown that that whole group is. We call ourselves that the tribe of warrior women because warrior queens because we are ready to step out and help and we're there. So might as well. So yes, my, my tribe of women, Queens, we're tight because we walk together. Well, with Robert doing a compilation book, Michael doing a compilation book, Genesis sounds like she's doing one. I just want to tell you, you've even inspired me and I just came up with the title today, uh, just like in the last minute. And I want to bounce off you, see what you think. What do you think of this? Hold my meow wolf. What do you think? What exactly is a meow wolf? Well, it is, I think it is a demographic of very wacky people that want to have a wacky experience and will share it in the compilation book. I'm pretty sure Meow Wolf is trademarked, so you might have to get permission for that. But no, really, to be in a compilation book, and I want to give advice to people who are thinking about this, make sure the people in the book get along. And the second part is, don't forget them. Uh, my whole purpose in this book wasn't to get a book published. It was to bring a group together to form a conference where we can go out and amplify other people, you know, lift them up. And it's it's a tribe of speakers, basically. It's a group of speakers who are willing to to train, uh, like we talk about with Amplifluence. We said with Amplifluence, the three pillars of monetization is to speak your message, publish your message, and convert your message. What I did with the compilation book is I got everyone to publish their message. Now, every time we do a book launch, they speak a little bit of their message, but soon they will be speaking, you know, 30 minute uh, trainings, you know, 30 hour minute training, speaking their message in order to convert their message. So basically we are doing Amplifluence, prototyped it, mm -hmm. and hold my crown. I love it. You know, I, I, I did um, forget to give a shout out to the person who's creating the children's author launch. Yes. Uh, her name is Sharon Brown, and she has her hardcover book coming out. Oh, she Sharon. Is Yes, and 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 she has got such a great message here. Look at look at all this beautiful. Oh, message. she's awesome. And you know, if your kids grow up having great messages of what their character should be like, could be like, here's some of the character words that she uses. Oh, that's beautiful. Loyalty, and love, positivity, tenacity, and humor. I love it. So this is a beautiful book. I'll I'll give a shout out to the illustrator because. He really did a dynamic job here. Here he is. And there are yeah. the three, the two authors are mom and da uh, daughter and mom. And then there's the, he's a cool guy, by the way. He's in Norway. So just go figure. Virginia, mom and daughter decide to hire a Norway illustrator and they do 2000 books through China. I mean, it, it's an international 
aspect. And by the way, Jen Duplissis was the person who recommended uh, Sharon Brown and I speak. And here we are today. And you know what that means? I know that your dog always barks near the end of the show to say we're getting close to the wrap up. That is, I love how you trained your dog to do that. <laughs> it's funny because he does, doesn't he? Yeah. Every time. <laughs> Because I literally, I literally have said everything I need to say for the show, and your dog—it's like your dog reads the script before. What script? Knows, you have a script? I have a script. Mine's all written. Every word I say, even what I'm saying right now, is in the script. Look, it's right here. Look, you can see it says "look, look," right there. Look, look. <laughs> Well, I want to go back to the next thing that's happening in my world. Um, I, I, I. By the way, if you don't believe me, you. By the way, if you don't believe me, there it is. Look, look. Look, look. You're funny. Anyways, May 19th in Colorado Springs is the Unconditional Conference. And if you want to learn more about it or get a ticket or two, go to the letters I M unconditional.com. So I am unconditional.com. And there are ooh, three, six, nine. There are a total of 12 speakers throughout the day. They started, we start about, I think we start at 8 30 in the morning and we end around two. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure we I, end around. I, two. I thought it was later because the library opens later, but maybe I'm wrong. I thought um, it was, I thought it was more like 10 to five, but one of us is right. And by the way, you may be giving the times of the summit. Because oh no, he's started. right. The speakers come in earlier, but the event is from 10 to 5 p.m. Doors open at 9:30 in the morning. But if you go to I am unconditional.com, it is um the event will be at the 21C venue, that big room in 21C library. Um oh, we forgot to talk about uh 21. What was the name of that hotel that had the uh the museum the in museum. it? Yeah. It was in Chicago, yeah. yeah. Wasn't it 21? Was it? It's the, it was the C21 Museum. I think it was 21C, but maybe you're right. It's 21C. It's the same as this library. I know. Isn't that crazy? They're, they're taking over the world. Yeah. It's 21C Museum Hotel Chicago. Yeah. So this 21C thing is becoming quite, quite the little, I will call it butterfly. They're flying around. And they're landing and crossing a new 21C. So that was a 24-hour museum. And the photos were put up last week to enjoy. And we will add the photos to Influence too. Yeah. Well, you made me forget what I wanted to say about May 19th. We have 12, off, uh, 12 speakers, uh, coaches, actually. And then we have a breakout session. But one of the cool things is I'm one of the speakers. I so rarely speak in Colorado Springs. So I wanted to say that out loud. I'm one of the speakers at the I Am Conditional. And I'm speaking right after lunch. I believe I'm the pep talk after lunch. And I have my twin brother, uh, Robert Peterson, speaking in my stead. And he's taking photos at the event and creating an expansion of the Denver uh, Key Smiling book. I mean, does this get any better? Actually, it should be the Colorado Springs book, but okay. Oh, you're right. That is the Colorado Springs. Thank you for yeah. the correction. <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that, was a, that was a very good correction, by the way. Yeah, so in summary... Go to the group Applefluence 100 author, and you'll be able to see all the pictures from the. Well, I don't think we have the ultimate speaker one in there, that's what you're doing. Uh, but you'll see pictures from the Power of We Symposium that we did in Chicago, the Colorado book launches, both in Colorado Springs and Denver. Great pictures, by the way. Uh, I'll have that that lioness picture in there because. Man, I love it. Thank you so much, Mary Kay, for making that for all of our queens in Hold My Crown. Uh, thank you. Shout out to Mal Wolf because Ken loves his hat. And What's shout that? out to my son, Matt, for uh, getting us passes. And Mia, my daughter, for touring us through Mia Wolf because, my goodness, there's so many secret packs, packs, passageways that I would have never noticed if she wasn't with us. Uh, shout out to Tim Tebow for doing an amazing keynote at Youth for Christ out in Baltimore, right? And we have one more shout out. What? Mandy Penn Photography. Mandy Penn, yes. She took the pictures at the Colorado Springs book launch. Yes, and she has got a big heart, and she is going to really, I think, build the book launches all across Colorado, as well as the United States. And, and she's willing to fly all over the United States to, to photograph authors. And speakers. Awesome. 
<laughs> I think she yeah. photographed pretty much anyone because she does have a studio and she does all yes. sorts of people and babies and everything. But yes, she's an amazing photographer. I have it's it's rare to see the quality of photography that Ken does, and um, Mandy's got it. So of course my 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 go to is my headshot gal Simone Vision. But you know she doesn't travel mm -hmm. like you two do. She has she has her studio and she's awesome. Uh, then the next one is the Independence Day, uh, July 3 through 5 in D.C. If you want to join us and multiple authors in that, come see us in D.C. We'll put out more information as the, we get closer. But oh, definitely. Nancy Alert. We forgot to mention Nancy Alert's going to be a really big partner for the July 3rd through 5th. Oh, yeah. And, that's and Shirley Lou. And Shirley Lou. Those are dynamic women that are going to bring so many authors to this event. Well, then you need to say, who is Nancy Alert? And what did she do? I know that she's pretty much most famous for being one of the authors in Hold My Crown. That's yep. one of her. That's one of her big accolades. I think uh, Shirley Liu and her are dynamic uh, financial, real estate, yeah, yeah, financial real estate advisors, consultants, and speakers in, in the DMV area. area. Yes, and well, and even internationally, even yeah, internationally. I meant, but real realty in, in DMV. Yes. And then uh, Shirley Lou is financial. She was, yeah, she's everywhere. She was on Forbes. I mean, just look them up. And then the next one that we want you to remember is the May 15th Children's Author Launch in Leesburg, Virginia. If you're in that area, go out there. If you know any authors, write Ken and say, I know an author that needs to be there. How do they sign up? And there will be a um, Eventbrite link for that too that Ken will share well. in the thread. And then, of course, May 19th is the Unconditional Conference in Colorado Springs with uh, headed up by Michael Schoening. And I am one of the speakers there, so I hope I can see you there. Come up to me and let me know you're there. Anything else, Mr. Mann? Um, well, Mrs. Woman, I don't think I have anything else to add. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy with this second show. I think we should do another one. <laughs> okay, we'll do another one. We're, 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 we're still playing. We're still getting used to everything. Still getting used to you each other. Remember our first, our first show, we, there was so much uh, trepidation. We were like, if we don't do good on this first show, we're not doing another show. And we were like going, ah! Oh, no, that was just a nightmare that I had. Okay, that had nothing to do with reality. I'll that say, that happened. wasn't us, was it? <laughs> well, thank you so much for everyone who jumped on and thank you, Karen, for popping in and saying hi to us. Uh, if you are watching this and found... Uh, any glimmer of information important, share the live stream or share at this point the replay. We would appreciate it. We are growing. We are slowly making this a routine. We are. And if you found the show to not have any glimmer of help for you, share it with someone that may find that there is a glimmer. <laughs> 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 and if we were boring at board, at board you out of your mind, send this to your worst enemy and let them be bored too. <laughs> I, I like when I like when Gina said, How many of you um have I guess how how many of you have a mother? That was that was what she asked for super mom. How many of you <laughs> No, how many of you are a mother? That was the first question. Yeah, how many I of you so. are a mother? How many of you have a mother? Yes. She she cleaned up. I mean, she had so many people buy books because they couldn't get out of that question. <laughs> You're funny. Okay, everyone. Uh, you have watched show number two as Dr. Smiley, Mr. Ken Rashan, Dr. Ken Rashan. Yes, Dr. We, Mraz. We are we are testing out the waters on Amplifluence podcast. So this is all about Amplifluence, amplifying your influence. And we've been going across the nation, soon the world to amplify the, the influence of speakers, coaches, and authors by helping them speak their message, publish their message, and convert their message, because that's the three pillars of monetization. And if you want to learn more about Amplifluence and where we've gone and where we're going, go to Amplifluence.com. Anything else, Dr. Smiley? I just don't want us to confine ourselves to just the world. I want us to go to the universe like Buzz Lightwood, Buzz Lightwood would want. Buzz Lightyear. Lightyear. Yeah, he would, he would want to infinity and beyond. Yes, and Elon Musk will probably hear this message and say, we are taking this to the space station. So thank you in advance, Elon. <laughs> 
All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we'll be back. I think we might do this again on Friday morning just for the heck of it to see what the time does. And if not, we'll more than likely see you on Wednesday morning again. So check us out. We'll pop on, pop off until we find the perfect time. Until then, my name is Michelle Maras. And this is Dr. Smiley. Stay amplified and Amplifluence is going to be your ticket to actually getting more amplified. Ooh. Until next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>